after all the mechanical systems in the, in the basement, you know, the next thing we want to look at is just the overall structure of the house. So like the major bones of the house that we care about um, would be like, you know, your foundation walls, your overall framing, history of termites, history of water penetration. All those things can cause some problems in the house. The way this house is set up is most of the house is, most of the basement is finished. So I'm not going to rip down all the walls in order to, you know, evaluate your framing. So we do the best we can to look for any telltale signs of structural movement, water penetration, those kind of things. The areas that I could get to uh, don't show any history of termites. I probed around all the sills that I could. This, there is no history of water down here either. One telltale sign is the carpet. So if this was constantly damp, you know, it would smell down here, but that's not always, you know, 100% accurate. So one of the things I did is I checked with a moisture meter on the wall. This is the back wall of the house and the back yard is actually pitched into the house. So if there was a water issue and anything hidden, so if this was actually wet on the other side, this should pick up some elevated moisture. So I can tell you the meter works, it would be going off, but it's just bone dry on the back of the house. And the reason you picked this section happens to be underneath the window, is that, is that why? Under the window is where you're more likely to get water, and I wanted to test the back of the house because the backyard is pitched right into this. So you do have an outside underground drainage system, a perimeter drain around the house, but there's no way for me to verify any of that outside. So all evidence uh, concludes that it is functioning and doing what it's supposed to do, um, and that this is dry. So I mean, we do the best from what we can see, and it looks like you're in pretty good shape. Now, in your framing, it's two by 10, 16 inches on center, pretty standard way to build a house. I pretty much build it the same way today. Uh, cement filled alley columns everywhere that you can see them. And as I go through the entire lower level, I don't see any major structural cracks. I don't see evidence of water. It looks like you're, you're in pretty good shape down here.